Hello everyone. Welcome to a session in our civil engineering topics. So for this video, we will discuss the analysis and the design of beam bearing plate. So plates are used to distribute the concentrated load to the supporting material as in a column. It transmits loads to the supporting concrete pedestal. So for concrete uh, for columns, we will use, we will need a base plate. A beam also transmits its load to a supporting wall or transmits its reaction to the top flange of a supporting beam or girder. So in the case of a beam, we will need a beam bearing plate. So, for this video, we will have the analysis and the design of beam bearing plate. So, let us say in figure 6.1, we have here a beam and then this beam carry a load R. So, it's either a direct load or a reaction from the support. So, we have here the concrete support. No? So, in between the concrete support and the steel beam, we need a bearing plate. So, this is to distribute the force R so that the concrete pedestal or the concrete support is prevented from crushing. And also, the beam parts here are prevented in yielding. Okay? So... In the designing of a beam bearing plate, this involves the computation of the dimensions which consist of the width B, the length N, and the thickness T as shown in figure ST 6.1. Okay, so we have here, na? So, width B, length N, and then we have the thickness T. So, take note, B is along the web na? or along the flange while N is along the length of the beam and we have here the thickness T of the bearing plate okay so the design of the bearing plate consists of the following modes of failure so, step one, we determine the dimension N. So, the dimension along the length of the beam. Na? So, that web yielding and web crippling are prevented. So, what is web yielding? So, web yielding is the compressive crushing of a beam web by the application of a compressive force to the top flange directly above or below the web. Uh, so, tayan na. So, we have a force either directly above or directly below. So, this is due to a direct load na, from a column or another beam to the flanges of the beam or we have the reaction at the support. So, yielding occurs when the compressive stress on a horizontal section through the web reaches the yield point. So, tayan na. So, due to the force, this is what happened to our web. So, we call this web yielding. So, in W shape, this section will be at the toe of the fillet. Na? So, yung may welding dyan. Ha? So, this is at a distance K from the outside face of the flange as shown in figure ST 6.2. Uh, so, this is the toe of the fillet and it is, it is where the uh, yielding takes place. And this is at a distance of K from the face of the flange. Uh, so, this is ST 6.2. na. So, the load is assumed to distribute itself at a slope of 1 is to 2.5 as in the figure 6.2. No? Okay. So, we will analyze the area subject to yielding for a force applied at the support. Or it can be a reaction. No? 
Okay. So, let us say we have here the beam. So, this is the uh, this is the elevation, huh? side view of the beam. Then, we have here the section of the beam. Huh? So, this is the beam and then we have here the length. Huh? So, along the span of the beam. Then, this is to be supported by a concrete. So, in between the concrete and the steel beam, we need a beam bearing plate. Okay? Ah. So, when you have R, R is distributed by an area on the web. Na? So, this is the web. Na? So, this is the web. This is also the web. We have here the flange. We have also another flange. Na? Uh, ito yan, flange and then flange. Okay. So, this R is being distributed on the area, on the affected area, na? of the web which is this and this is distributed at a slope 1 is to 2.5 meaning for one vertical horizontal is 2.5 so since this act at a distance of k na, above from the flange or the outer face of the flange so this will distribute horizontally a distance of 2.5 of k so again ha, for every one vertical 2.5 horizontal so for a k vertical the horizontal is 2.5 of k okay ha. so since the thickness of the web is tw so this is the area na, where you distribute r this red part here so notice that the red part is this so the length is n so since this is n and then we add 2.5 nah? because r is distributed by a force or a distance na nah? from the end part of the bearing plate a distance horizontally of 2.5 of k so the length now where r is to be distributed is n plus 2.5 k and the thickness is tw uh, so again huh, this is an area on the web so meaning the thickness of the web is tw so that is also the thickness of this area here and the length is n plus 2.5 of k okay uh, so recall that stress is force over area so stress is force r divided by this area or if we solve for the force r the force r is equal to this area times the stress and we can write it like this na? so the strength for web yielding r is equal to n plus 2.5 k times tw and the allowable stress for web yielding is 0.66 of fy uh, so r equal to n plus 2.5 k times tw that is the area and the stress which is the allowable is 0.66 of fy uh, so we have that here na? Uh, so a equal to or the area is n plus 2.5 k times tw and the stress is 0.66 of fy that is the allowable stress in web yielding how about if the load is the it at the interior part? Uh, so, let us say we have here a beam. Then above it, we have also another beam which transmits a load R to the flanges of the beam here. Na? So, this can be a girder. And then we have the beam na, carried by the girder. Uh, so, let us say this is the girder. And then we have also another or a beam carried by the girder so we need a base plate there or bearing plate na? Ah. so notice that the area where the r is distributed is equal to n plus 5k uh, because this occur at a distance k from the top flange face na? so distributed horizontally 2.5 of k and another 2.5 of k on the other side uh, so this thickness tw and this area na, where r is distributed is this part here which is n plus 5k and the width is the thickness of the flange 
or the thickness of the web equal to dw. So we have that here, nah? So n plus 5k and then the thickness is tw. Uh, so the strength r is equal to force or stress times the area, nah? So force r equal to the stress times the area. So area is n plus 5k times tw and then 0.66 of fy is the allowable stress. Ah, so that is to determine n na. So n is determined from web yielding and web crippling. Okay. Ah, that is web yielding na. So we have here web crippling is the buckling of the web caused by compressive force delivered through the flange. Ah, so again we have here the beam and then we apply a force na. So, web crippling is the buckling of the web, like this. Uh, so, that is web crippling. So, for web crippling, we have a formula na, derived already. So, for a load at the support or near the support. Uh, so, this is end reaction. Na? So, end reaction R and the location is not greater than half the beam depth. So, not greater than D over 2 from the end. Uh, so, the strength is equal to this. So, R equal to this formula. So, TW, thickness of the web. N, that is the width or the width, uh, length of the bearing plate. Na? Uh, then, D, the depth of the steel beam. TW, thickness of the web. TF, uh, thickness of the flange. And then, FYW is the yield point na so fy of the web so if in case fy of the web is not specifically given that is also equal to fy of the whole beam okay then for a load interior load no for an interior load so the distance of the application is greater than half the beam depth uh, greater than d over 2 from the end uh, so the strength of the web crippling is equal to this so the strength for web crippling r is equal to this okay and uh, then step number three or step number two no we have already n so step number two determine b so the width b so that the area b times n of the bearing plate is sufficient to prevent the supporting material, usually the concrete, from being crushed in bearing. Uh, so, tayan, ha? so, AIAC requirements for concrete bearing strength. So, if the plate covers the full area of the concrete support, the allowable bearing strength is 0.35 of FC prime. And then, if the plate does not cover the full area of the support, FP is 0.35 FC prime square times the square root of area 2 over area 1. But this value should not exceed 0.7 of FC prime. Okay. So, FC prime is the compressive strength of concrete. Area 1, the area of the plate, so that is the bearing area. And area 2 is the area of the concrete support. So, take note that if A2, the area of the concrete, is not concentric with A1 and not fully covered na, with A1, area 2 should be taken as the largest concentric area that is geometrically similar to A1. Uh, so, let us say this is the concrete support. Uh, then, we have here the area of the base plate, A1. Okay. So, notice A1 does not fully cover the concrete support. Uh, so, what is A2? So, A2 is a similar geometric figure similar to A1, na, like this, and the biggest or the largest. So, in this case, this is our base plate area 1, and this is our area 2. So, geometrically similar to our A1. Okay, then step number three, determine the thickness T so that the plate has sufficient bending strength. Okay, so this is the base plate. 
And then we have the concrete here na, concrete below. Then on top of the base plate, we have the wide flange or the beam. Uh, so again, the base plate is in between or bearing plate na, base plate or bearing plate. So the bearing plate is in between the concrete support and the beam. Na, so beam, then we have the concrete support. In between them, we have the bearing plate. Okay. So, let us say we have the reaction R. Na? So, we have the reaction R here, the load R. So, R is to be distributed on the area of the base plate. Na? Uh, so, we have now the distribution, the stress, FP. And FP equal to R, the load R, divided by the area of the base plate. And the area of the bearing plate or base plate is B times N. Na? With B, then times the length n okay so we have here the section uh, and then we have here the plan top view no? so top view this is the beam so we have here the force downward no? uh, we have the force uh, so this is the area of the bearing plate length n and then with b okay so this is being pushed upward by the concrete. Uh, so, at a distance or a length n, uh, so this is being supported at the toe of the fillet. And that is at a distance k from the center line of the wide flange. So, k on one side, k on the other side. So, we have a distance of 2k. And this length n uh, will bend. So, this will bend as cantilever. Support here, and then we have the stress or the force acting on it. Okay? Uh, so, in the analysis, we will simply take 1 mm width, not the whole N. Na? So, taking a 1 mm width, na? so we have now this area. So, this is now the part that will bend. Na? So, the length is N, then the width is 1 mm. Okay? And then the thickness is T. And T is to be determined. Okay? Uh, so, we have that here. Na? Figure ST 6.3. So, again, in this figure, we need N. So, we have discussed N already in first step. B, we have already discussed B in the second step. And now, in step 3, we will discuss how to get our T. Okay? So... This will bend, na? Uh, so, ito yan. So, this will bend. So, N, and then we have 1, and then T. So, this is acted by in an upward pressure, Fp equal to R over B times N. And then we have the resultant force here. So, the resultant force is equal to the stress times the area. And this stress Fp act on the area N times 1, na? Because this is also 1 mm here. So, the total force here is Fp times N times 1. And this act at a distance N over 2, half of this. So, if I will call this N, the support, no, as A, then we have the moment at A due to this resultant force Fp. Okay, uh, so, the 1 mm strip is subjected to a moment M at A. And what is that moment? The total force Fp times 1 times n times distance n over 2. Or that is Fpn squared over 2. So if I will now consider the cross section, ha, ito yung cross section natin. So 1 mm and then the height is t. Uh, this is the neutral axis. So consider the section of dimension 1 mm by t. The bending stress is mc over i. Huh? Fb is mc over i, where m is equal to fpn squared over 2. C is t over 2. And then i is 1 over 12 t cubed. Huh? Okay. So we have now m equal to fpn squared over 2. C is t over 2. And moment of inertia here is 1 times t cubed over 12. Okay. So... We can now solve for Fb. So Fb equal to this. And then we simplify. 
that is 4 over 12 so 12 will go up for denominator so we have 3 fpn squared over t squared and then we will equate this fb bending stress to the allowable so equating this to the allowable and solving for t so we have t equal to 3 fpn squared over fb and then we extract the square root so this is our formula for t okay now if in case the allowable bending stress is given or if not fy is given huh? so take note that fb the allowable bending stress of the plate is equal to 0.75 of fy so if we substitute to our equation one huh? fb is 0.75 of fy 3 over 0.75 is 4 now, so 3 over 75, 3 over 0.75 is 4, and then square root is 2. n squared, the square root is n. So that is why our t is 2n square root of fp over fy. Okay, so again, to design a bearing plate, we will solve for n. Now, we will solve for b, and then we will solve for t. Uh, so, we will now use our formula. Na? So, we will now have a problem. So, a W 530 by 138 beam has a, width, has a maximum reaction of 690 kN at the end supports. Design the bearing plate using A36 steel with FY equal to 250 MPa. Assume the bearing plate will fully cover the concrete support with fc prime equal to 21 megapascal uh, properties of the beam so of course to design the bearing plate find the length n find the width b and then find the thickness t okay so we will analyze na? so r maximum reaction so this is end reaction na? so end support uh, so 690 kilonewton so, based on web yielding, we have the formula for N support. R is 2.5K plus N or N plus 2.5 of K times TW times the stress. So, if we substitute FY equal to 250, R equal to 690, TW equal to 14.7. Uh, the only unknown there is N. So, N is 194.48 or say... 195 mm. Okay, so this is based on web yielding. Uh, we can consider also web crippling. So again, re end reaction. We have two formulas for this now. So this is for the end reaction. So TW, D, TF, FY, W not given, but we are given FY. Now, uh, so we can substitute with R equal to 690,000. The only unknown there is N. Uh, by calculator, we can solve N 292.16. So, N is 295 mm. Okay. So, if you recall, in web yielding, N is 195 mm. But in web crippling, we need N equal to 295. Uh, so, we will select the bigger value. So, use N equal to 295 mm as governed by web crippling. So, hindi nag-govern yung web yielding na. Okay. So, tapos na tayo sa number 1. Uh, so, we will now solve for B. So, R now, this is now the base plate or bearing plate na. So, we have solved already N that is 295. We need B. So, R is to be distributed and to be passed no? or to be distributed also to the supporting concrete so from our stress is force over area so fp equal to r over the area b times n uh, but our fp is the allowable now so the allowable is 0.35 of fc prime r is 6900 b is unknown n is 295 so b is 318.22 mm uh, so say 320 mm uh, so tapos na tayo sa number 2 no? so may n na tayo may b so thickness na lang uh, so for number 3 for the thickness 
B is 320. And then we are given K. Na? I think K is 36. Okay. So notice that our formula for B is... Uh, our formula for N, so B equal to 2K plus 2N. Or N is B minus 2K over 2. Na? Uh, ito na lang siguro. Madali. B equal to 2K plus 2N. And then we can substitute. So, we can solve for N, that is 124 mm. So, this is the length of the bearing plate that will bend. Huh? Uh, so, we can substitute to our thickness, T equal to 2N square root of FP over FY. Uh, we will solve FP first. Huh? So, the actual bearing stress underneath is R over area. So, 690,000 and then for the area, 295 times 320. Na? So, N is 295, B is 320. This is 7.309 megapascal. So, we can now substitute. Na? So, 2 times 124, square root of 7.309 over 250. And T is 42.4. Say, 45 mm. Uh, so, alam nyo na ba kung ano yung dimensions natin sa, uh, sa bearing plate natin? So, length 295 with 320 and thickness 45. So, we use 295 by 320 by 45 bearing plate. Okay. So, thank you very much. That ends our discussion. Pasensya ng kunti, ha? Medyo uh, inuubo ako kaya nagatsing-hatsing ako, no? Okay. So, thank you very much. View my video so that you can answer the activity.